Welcome to QStudio. When we first start QStudio, we want to add a server. To do this, we go to Server, Add Server, and configure the settings. Now that the server has been added, we can see that the server tree has been populated with the objects that exist on that server. By clicking on the items, we can browse them in the result panel. From within the editor, it's extremely easy to send our own queries. All we need to do is go to the line with our query, if it's a single line query, and press Ctrl and Enter to run it. Here you can see the result is displayed as a table. Or, if we click on the chart tab, instantly we get a time series chart of the same data. If you have a query which is spread over multiple lines, we can run that query by highlighting the text we want and pressing Ctrl E. Here again you can see the chart is displayed straight away. As well as time series charts, many other chart types are supported. Line charts, bubble charts, bar charts, As you can see, the editor provides syntax highlighting of Q code, keywords, and comments. It also allows autocomplete on inbuilt functions and of variables defined on the servers.